Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our new blog. I am Chief Engineer C S Praveen Raj, Head of Academics of H M T College, Kalpakam. In this blog, I am going to talk about becoming a Chief Engineer in Merchant Navy. First of all, what is Merchant Navy? Is that what you had watched in Pirates of Caribbean? No. Almost ninety percentage of the world trade is done by sea. and ship is the largest vehicle which transports a huge amount of cargo from one place to another so we see for us a record to navigate the vessel to operate the vessel as well as to maintain the machineries on board if you compare the size of the main engine on board the ship with that of an engine in a car the size of the main engine and ship will be 20 to 30 times bigger in size maintaining these big machineries on board lies with the responsibility of the engineer okay going back to the subject how can you become a chief engineer on board first of all how to complete four years btech marine engineering program what is the eligibility criteria for it you must have completed 10 plus 2 with a pcm aggregate of over 60 percentage in 12th standard and over 50 percentage in english in 10th and 12th standard should also complete imu cet test and get a good rank what is that imu cet it is nothing but indian maritime university common entrance test please note that there are some other eligibility criteria in order to check all these criteria kindly check our hmt college website whose link will be posted in the description one more important eligibility criteria is that you have to be physically fit there should not be any problems with your eyes and any color blindness issue don't get scared by the picture thinking that you should have a very good gym body for joining the course you just need to maintain your diet do some physical activities daily and maintain your physical fitness medical certificate issued by dg shipping approved doctor is mandatory for joining the course as well as to join the ship okay now you have completed the degree course what's next You have to complete basic modular course for being safe on board the vessel. We HMT or famous not only for pre-Z degree courses, but also famous for modular and other post-Z courses as well. So we will train you. Don't worry at all. Next is the documentation part. Have to have all the documents in hand like INDAS, CDC, passport, and SID. CDC is nothing but continuous discharge certificate and SID is nothing but seafarer's identification document so you're ready now what will you do now start sailing on board happily as a TME or fifth engineer now comes the main part what is the salary of the fifth engineer it ranges from 300 to 1200 US dollars per month we seafarers always talk in US dollars if you want to know your salary in indian rupees please take out the calculator and start calculating using the current conversion rate but see a smile on your face please go through the entire block without skipping any part as i have a bonus surprise for you at the end okay what's next once you complete 6 months of sailing you have to do advanced modular courses then appear for mmd class 4 exams mmd centers are available in chennai kochi mumbai kolkata etc Once you complete the exam, you can get promoted to fourth engineer by your company, provided that your appraisal report is also good. So you will start sailing. And what is the salary now? It ranges from thousand five hundred to four thousand dollars. Next rank is third engineer, and the happiest part is that there are no exams for getting promoted to third engineer. It all depends on your appraisal report and company requirements. i could hear your question come on tell me the salary of the third engineer tell you for sure it ranges from 3500 to 6000 dollars are you happy wait there are more things to come and that is a surprise bonus as well there are two more ranks second engineer and chief engineer what is the criteria for becoming second engineer you should have completed 12 months of sea service after clearing your class for exams is not required to be continuous you can have a very good vacation in between your working contract okay once you complete you have to do preparatory and refresher course 
which takes around four to five months. Then you have to complete your MEO class two exams. Then you'll get promoted as second engineer. See, I've changed the image of the ship. Why? Because you are something new now. You're no longer an operational level engineer. You are a management level engineer. So your salary will range from 6,000 to 16,000 USD. Then comes the main part of the video. How can I become a chief engineer? You have to complete 36 months after class four and 12 months after class two. However, 36 months shall be reduced to 30 months if you had said the second engineer for 12 months. Once you complete the C service, do the preparatory and refresher courses, complete the exam, and now you are the chief engineer once your company promotes you. I know that you are at the edge of the seat now because you want to know about the salary of the chief engineer because now we have started sailing as a chief engineer. It ranges from $9,000 to your open $26,000 per month. And please note that you no need to pay any taxes if you complete 183 days of sailing in a financial year. Come on, guys, please take the calculator and start calculating now. Okay, I promised that I'll give you a bonus surprise at the end. What is that? If you think that you had missed an opportunity after 12 to join the Merchant Navy, don't worry at all. We have one more course for you to join the Merchant Navy. If you had completed BTEC or BE in Mechanical Engineering, you can do Graduate Marine Engineering course whose duration is only one year. You can start your career as a fifth engineer. If you have BE degree in Naval Architecture, you are also eligible for joining GME course. I'll share you one more data. If you ask me, how much time did I take to become a chief engineer? I took around eight years from the starting of my career. And at the age of 29, I'm the chief engineer. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I know you'll be having a lot of doubts after watching this video. Please comment if you have any queries. We'll be extremely happy to help you. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share this video to your friends if you want them to get benefited. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.